The Highlands Core Forest is really the least fragmented forest we have in the northern part of the state. It is roughly 360 square miles, but we don't see it as a single forest because it has so many different ownerships and jurisdictions. Since the Civil War, they've rebounded beautifully, and so now we have lots of forests that are well over 100 years old, and they clean our water, they provide incredible habitat for an array of thousands of species of plants and animals and fungi, great places for recreation and solitude, and they're just, uh, you know, really an essential part of life in New Jersey. Well, for one, it's a tremendous resource for us to be able to have such a, an amazing ecosystem at our doorstep that we can take students in and uh, to explore and learn about the wonders of the natural world. And there's not a lot of other places uh, in this country that have that kind of diversity of landscapes and ecosystems to be able to teach students uh, and to enjoy. We know that in the highlands, our forests are purifying the water that comes in, that goes into the reservoirs that are providing fresh, cheap, drinking water to a huge proportion of New Jersey, not just people in northern New Jersey. New Jersey's economic stability and quality of life are tied to these highlands forests. 6.2 million people in New Jersey depend on the highlands for an abundant and inexpensive supply of clean water. As forests' uh, temperatures increase, you find certain tree species no longer able to successfully germinate or survive, for example. And so many species that are typical of northern forest biomes uh, will be lost as the climate continues to warm. You also see forest conditions suffering as a result of the increased severity of storms and disturbances that are now happening in our forest, the physical effects of severe winds and blowing down trees. The factors that are most impacting forests uh, in central and northern New Jersey are um, the problem of overabundant deer that we have, uh, in that part of the state, uh, invasive plant and other species that are invading our forests and in some cases uh, wiping out entire species wholesale, as well as legacy effects of agricultural and suburban development. There's a lot of problems, of course, with the overabundant deer eating the young saplings and most of our native plants, and invasive species are really choking out the layers of our forest. The deer are causing many species of plants to decline, and in turn, that causes many species of animals to be declining. And so the forest is missing the next generation of plants. The next generation should already be there, and it simply isn't there. But when you see what happens to the forest, when you remove deer from the equation or bring them back to the levels that we know are sustainable in, in the forest environment, that the forest responds really dramatically. And, and many of the, the things that we need uh, to do to restore forests, take care of themselves on their own. And I'm very concerned about all the logging that's going on in our New Jersey forests as well. That's been an increasing threat in recent decades, and that's happening on our public conservation lands under the guise of it being good stewardship for our forests. So I feel that this philosophy that we need to manage our forests through logging is very harmful. The idea we should cut our old forests so we can get young forests really doesn't even work. We end up cutting our old forests and getting these massive invasions that are very, very in inhibiting to biodiversity. The ethical component of it, of protecting forests, protecting habitats, protecting all the species that share the planet with us, it's, you know, just something that we just must do. It's something that we can't ignore. Thinking about forests and climate change is very important. Of course, trees, all plants, take up carbon out of the air. That's what they do. Some of the forests now, the big trees, the old trees in the canopy are about 120 to 150 years old. They're gonna live, many of them, for another few hundred years. And they're gonna be sequestering carbon over the next hundred years at the fastest rates possible, far faster than any other kind of young forest or planted forest can accomplish but we can store a huge quantity of carbon at a high rate if we protect our existing forests. And there's a word for this now, it's called proforestation. Proforestation is basically protecting the forests that we already have, especially the established natural forests, and protecting them uh, from cutting, from opening. And that is absolutely what we must do to maximize our defense against climate change.
what are our responsibilities for the future in terms of our fires? Well, short-term responsibility is that we have to deal with overabundant deer and invasive species in a real way. If we don't do that, nothing else will matter. How do I see the future of the highlands moving forward? I, I guess I see a couple of different possible directions. We can go the way we're going now, which is with increasing fragmentation, new residential construction, sometimes in very sensitive areas. And so I think without very great care and thoughtfulness, I see a worrisome future for our forests. Well, the Highlands Coalition has been engaged with the New Jersey Department of Environmental Protection and the New Jersey Division of Fish and Wildlife in trying to modify various habitat management proposals. And I think we've been very successful. Without this advocacy, we are losing too much of this forest every day. And it is really our greatest defense against a changing climate. The bottom line is, is people's awareness and involvement and taking some time out of our busy lives to enjoy and learn about these tremendous ecosystems that we're blessed with in this state so that you can become familiar with them, come to appreciate them, and feel some sort of ownership over the, the future of these forests that we all are responsible for sustaining for future generations. You know, New Jersey has a lot of challenges. We have congestion and high taxes. Uh, we don't always appreciate the really incredible benefits that we have, and one of them is this remarkable forest resource.